what is mortgage forbearance and what does it mean if you elect to do it with your loan servicer? That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mary Jo with Camerota Real Estate. Welcome to my channel. This is where we talk about all things real estate and then some. If this is your first time here, be sure to like and subscribe so you're able to get notifications when I upload more videos like this to my channel. So today we're talking about mortgage forbearance and what exactly it is. Back on March 27th, 2020, the federal government signed into effect the CARES Act. And within the CARES Act, there were protection for homeowners who found themselves uh, suffering a financial hardship as a result of the pandemic. So you're unable to make your monthly mortgage payments. They also implemented a moratorium so lenders could not start foreclosure proceedings or file a Liz pendants against the homeowner for not being able to make their monthly mortgage payments. Homeowners were then instructed to contact their loan servicers and uh, explain their financial difficulties that they were experiencing and ask them to start the forbearance period for them. And what homeowners were instructed to then do was to provide them with a letter of financial hardship and explain to them in what areas they were falling short and they would be put into a six-month period uh, where they would be able to delay or push back their mortgage payments to the back end of their loan. So what that would do, those payments that they missed over the six-month period would then be pushed to the back end of the mortgage along with, I'm sure, fees and interest, and it would extend the life of your loan. Now, at the end of the six months, if you still found yourself suffering a hardship, there was an extension added on and you would be able to extend an additional six months 12 in total. You had the option of repayment in a lump sum or putting it onto the back end of your mortgage and extending the life of your loan. I would want to make a professional recommendation and that be if you're in a forbearance period with your loan servicer or lender, it would be in your best interest to just contact them and, and make sure that you fully are aware of the terms of your forbearance period, um, how it's going to play out in the end with where your missed payments are going, uh, because there is lots of chatter out there as to everybody doing it differently. It varies from lender to lender. Uh, I've heard that some are demanding lump payment and then saying you don't make lump payment, then you're gonna get foreclosed on. I've heard that the payments are just getting pushed to the back end and the interest and fees, and it's just gonna extend the life of your mortgage. I've also heard that it's not getting just pushed to the end, it is a complete refinance that you have to go through, like a streamline. Speaking with my preferred loan officer, their recommendation is as soon as you can resume making your monthly mortgage payments, call your lender, tell them you want out of the forbearance, and you're, you're gonna resume your payments the following first of the month. And, and just let them know that you're able to start making your, your payments on time again. Because if you decide that you want to sell your home or you want to move, this is going to ensure that you're you're mortgageable, that you're able to qualify for a mortgage for your new home because you're going to pick up and, and start making your payments on time. So just to recap today's video, it's all about consumer beware and make sure you're fully aware of the terms and conditions of your forbearance agreement with your loan servicer or mortgage company. If there's questions that you may have, feel free to reach out Call me or send me an email. My contact information is listed below. If you like today's video, be sure to comment and remember to like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when my weekly videos are uploaded. Until next time.